Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. So, look at this sucker. It is a uh, VHF antenna. And from here, all the way across my car, there it is, the front of my car. 22 feet long, I was told. I haven't actually measured it, but I believe it. 22 feet long. And just look at my car. See how, yeah. The strap is wrapped, both of them are wrapped around the antenna then off. So this will be fun. All right, let's get this home. I'm, uh, in Staten, so got about a 30 mile, 20 mile drive. So to correct or add to what I said about that antenna and being VHF, it still is VHF, but let's make something clear. It's, uh, I don't remember what the low frequency was, but it was 150 something to 154, I believe is what I was told. I'm thinking that hopefully this will be excellent for MERS. Everybody that knows me knows that I like to dabble with MERS radio. Um, this is going to be a heck of an antenna. Um, just don't know if I'm going to be able to put it up in my place. So let's see, uh, got a bit of a weird angle on the camera, I know, but and uh, obviously I'm in the town of Staten, so I can't be going super fast. I think the speed limit right here is 20 or 25. But uh, I was going to bring a trailer and just let the back of it hang over quite a bit, but I didn't. Decided not to. <clears throat> I was hoping that somehow, yeah, see that person in that car, look at that antenna, put that antenna, that was funny. I, um, that was hilarious. Yep, yeah, my thing is right there, look at it vibrate like that. I better be very mindful of the speed, I almost, so, alright, I might do another video on the highway. So I tied the back of it to my adjustable receiver um, shank. And it's got an end connector on it. I'm gonna have to get an adapter or get somebody with <laughs> the tools to put another end connector on it. I don't know. or something else. Okay, I can't carry this by myself and be on the phone. <laughs> 